Growing up, I always loved to do things with my hands. I loved to build models with my grandfather growing up. I used to build wooden airplanes. And I wanted to find a career that allowed me to, to do things and, and physically impact people's lives. And there's nothing better than that than becoming a doctor and a surgeon. My name is Jason Wink. I'm a plastic reconstructive and hand surgeon at Penn Medicine. The main focus of my work is to develop a practice in upper extremity, hand surgery, and general plastic surgery. I was a trainee here. I left for a year for hand surgery fellowship and I've come back to try to serve those three or three roles. Upper extremity really interested me because it combines everything that a plastic surgeon can do. I mean, working on bone, working on soft tissue, peripheral nerve surgery, as well as microvascular surgery. I see patients with everything from carpal tunnel syndrome to trigger finger to significant traumas to the upper extremity, which involve tendon and nerve and bone and all of the above. I think what makes our division special here at Penn is the people within it. There's few places around that have experts in so many different fields and allow them to collaborate on complex problems. People come to Penn because they have issues that require multiple healthcare providers. And I think that's where Penn Medicine excels. Through my training as a plastic surgeon and a hand surgeon, you know, I've gained expertise in, in microsurgery and microvascular surgery. It's a, a set of skills that I think under the microscope that not everyone has. And it sort of brings me back to the, the technical challenges that led me to a career in medicine to start with. The being able to work with fine structures and, and deal with a really complex anatomy in a small space, I, I find very technically challenging and exciting. I have a patient who is a police, young police officer who suffered a devastating gunshot wound to his forearm. And his injuries included the um, nerves to his forearm that go down to his hand, as well as a large soft tissue defect with the exposure of the major blood vessels to his hand. So it really required expertise in wound management, being able to cover his wound with healthy soft tissue using a free flap. And then recently we've come back and done his nerve reconstructions as well. He went from a patient whose arm was threatened to someone who can potentially gain a significant use of his upper extremity. And now I, I see him back in clinic with his wife and their newborn. And I can just see that they're, they're happy that they made it through what was a, a really dark time. And you know they definitely have a positive outlook on what's going forward.